Today I'm gonna try and for the first time I'm gonna try and replace the kit or rubber kits on the power steering pump for the EG. This is the exact same power or uh, power steering pump from South Paul Auto Works. I saw its video and it was very detailed so that'll be my reference for this one. So all credits goes to South Paul Auto Works. I had a mechanic disassembled and overhauled this one to my, my complaints was generally uh, there's some few leaks over here so they resolved that one and there are no leaks on the hood if you check out my first vlog on the EG you can see some spills over here so far they're gone but problem was I think they installed the rotor or the vanes in a wrong way because it's not pumping anymore first thing I want to do is remove the fluid power steering fluid I don't have the correct tool so I'm just gonna use a uh, clear hose and I'm gonna try and transfer it to a uh, container I hope this one works come on come on come on come on go let gravity work okay there you go so I'm gonna let this drain for a while because I don't want to spill the fluid all over the floor I don't know if I can do this guys but I just want to give it a shot South Paul's video is quite convincing I'm moved by his video so I'm gonna try to give it a shot if I cannot fix it then I'm gonna convert this to manual <laughs> it is dripping or sucking the fluid slowly but it's working if you have a pump a uh, battery operated pump I think that will work you can use aquarium pump just use a clear hose then suck the air let gravity work but this will take some time fluid is out I think it's bone dry <laughs> can't see any more fluid in there I had to wait like 10 or 15 minutes the so next thing is grab a 12 mil and loosen up the bolts I think I've already loosened this one a while ago so there's there's like two bolts here as you can see I could just simply turn them then after that the adjuster screw and then it should drop should be able to remove the uh, power steering belt I think I need to loosen them up more also when working on car engine I don't usually leave tools near the engine I just drop them on the floor or if you have a rag or rubber matting that'll be much better I also have some uh, rag standing by just in case if I'm gonna spill some oil so I think the bolts are loose See if we can remove them now. There you go. One's out. Put them in the bucket. And where's the other one? Make, just make sure that the engine is dry. Oh, not. I'm sorry, not dry. It's cool. You don't want to burn out your hands. I really hope I can do this. Oop. Holy schmuck! I dropped the bolt. <laughs> anyway, I think I can. I can get it. Yeah, there you go. All right. This will be a very long video. And I think we can now drop this. Let me just find a way how to remove the power steering belt. Okay, uh, I think I found out a way or how to remove the belt. So I removed the two bolts, the upper and lower. And the only thing that's holding the pump is just the adjuster and the hoses so if you want to turn this clockwise it will tighten up if you do counterclockwise you see that the pump is lowering down and with that it will give us access to remove the belt there you go it's almost removed guys i am not a pro I don't really have experience on removing power steering or even 
overhauling replacing the kits but I just want to give it a shot these the video of South Pole Auto Works I mean it's for me it's motivational it's super excellent so even though I fail on this one uh, I, I don't really care because I'm just gonna try and find if I can if I can look for a power steering kit if not then I'm gonna have to convert this to manual so why the hell am I documenting this well it's my diary or my vlog for the Honda EG hatchback just my wife's car and I'm also planning to buy an EK hatchback okay so let me just continue working on this I'm gonna have to I need two hands and I'm, I'm filming with my other hand on the phone so I'm just gonna try loosen this up and hopefully that will work and then I'm gonna put in some rag under or cloth under the pump I don't want to spill any any liquids on the floor uh, I think the belt is almost out and there she goes where are your belt so I just have to I just have to slide this in so I can pull it under the car but I cannot give you guys a good I cannot give you guys a very good angle because I'm holding the phone right now and bada boom there you go okay so she's halfway there and I'm just I just oh it's out I think I, I think I can just pull this out all I need to do is uh, holy wow I just need to pull out the <laughs> she's already out maybe I can grab her over here nope give me a sec finally I was able to grab a hold of the power steering belt and you just have to play with the wing nut just have to keep on adjusting it till you have enough space I think we can remove this now come on buddy here you go <laughs> okay that's one down and a lot more to go okay next thing I did was uh, installed back the screw because I need some leverage on removing them I also <laughs> use some rags I don't want to spill some oil on the aircon belt I also removed the ground well if that can't be avoided then I'm gonna have to buy a degreaser so I'm just gonna get my wrench and hoping that there's not a lot of fluid here since this is bone dry but I believe there's some remaining fluids on this uh, hose let's see if I can remove this one hand And it's hard. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should stop filming for a while. And then, yeah, this will take some time. I think this will be a one hour video. She's almost out. Oh, there's no fluid here. Not sure. Here we go. Bada 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 boo. And off you go. Not moving. Do I need to do it? Nope. No, 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 no. Gonna spill some fluid. Come on, guys. So we need the plastic. I'm gonna put this sucker over here okay there you go so we are safe just have to move this aside let the oil drip inside the plastic bag so there you go I'm gonna have to suck this dry using the same hose next thing I want to do is to remove the excess oil here the hose didn't work so I had to use the syringe I had to suck them all dry for like 20 times you have to press this hose over here so you can drain the remaining oil but you don't really need to do this I, I'm just so you know it's just me I don't want to spill any any more power steering fluid on the floor and also on on the aircon belt alternator belt so once you have some
fluid sitting on the pump you just grab your syringe if you have a smaller one that'll be much better and then suck them up it's really hard for me to do this right now because I'm holding the phone here we go so little by little I'm sucking them dry hoping that I won't gonna spill a lot of fluid on the floor on the floor well I'm not forcing you to do this but this is just for my diary or vlog and I just want to share it to you guys just in case you want to give it a shot again if I fail on this one I cannot find any repair kits I need to convert this to manual well not really me I'm gonna have to go to a shop let them do it okay and the hoses are all out and I was surprised that there's not much oil because I sucked them dry <laughs> So here's another remaining oil. All you need to do is use this syringe, insert that, and then suck them all up. If you are a hater of oil, <laughs> if you hate oil, you don't want to spill them, you can do this. But if you don't care, you have degreaser, you can just forget about this. I hope I can remove this. I'm. I spent like 30 minutes now. <laughs> Finally, she's out after several minutes. Power steering out and I'm like one percent done <laughs> no oil spill just on the rag let's take a look at the floor on the floor there are no oil spill all right I hate oil spills well that's just me if you don't really care about oil using the greaser then you could just forget about this one so we're gonna try open this up and <laughs> My guide will be South Auto Works. I hope I can find a repair kit and try to do this on my own. If I cannot, then I'll convert it to manual. I'll, I'll have someone do that for me. I had a guy or a mechanic open this one. We stopped the leak, but unfortunately, the power power pump, <laughs> power, pump <laughs> power steering pump is not working anymore. So that's my goal to make this thing work back again. I think he installed the parts in a wrong way and South Auto Works guide is nothing but top-notch or excellent so I'll, I'm gonna update you guys let's see what will happen Ooh, I need to eat first it's like 1 p.m. now next thing I want to do is try and remove the parts one by one uh, I think we need to wear gloves but I don't have one so oil is starting to leak out oh my tools look like this one will this work? yep yeah so tight why this one so tight? there you go and then I need to put them on plastic containers so again the guide for for this power steering pump uh, what you call this repair or over, overhaul will be from Salpo Auto Works I'm gonna link in the video that we made it's a three-part video I may need to pause this for a while need to find out how to remove this it's not oh. <laughs> it flew away <laughs> good thing oh they use gasket maker over here I think that's not a good idea there you go you also need to make sure that the floor is with a rubber mat but I only have a few pieces left for the rubber markings Matings. Next thing that we want to remove according to his video is the what the uh, flow control valve. I think I also need to replace the oh, it's kind of shaking. You know, it's kind of loose already. Maybe we need to replace the bearing as well. You can hear that. I don't know, maybe that's how it was designed, but I'm gonna try to find out. I'll try to remove this uh, it's 
oily. I'm using my old boxers. Let me remove this one. Here. Yeah. Put this side. This is the part where the oil was leaking and I'm not really sure 100% if they fixed that but I don't see any leaks on my hood. Unfortunately the pump was not working anymore so maybe the vanes or the rotor was installed in the wrong way and we're gonna try check them out later on. This will be a very long video. I'm guessing this will be more than an hour if I don't start cutting clips. Uh, I need a flathead screwdriver to pry this out. One sec, where's my flathead screw? Flow control valve, is that the correct name or term of the part? I'm not sure. So. I removed this one and it popped out so when removing this you need to make sure to do it slowly this one popped out a while ago just gonna put it over here there's some o-rings I think this these are the o-rings that we need to replace it's leaking oil on this part trying to grab the spring uh, oops yeah. Just hit some oil. I think we need to remove the orange and then have them replaced. There is some gasket maker over here. Not sure if that is a good idea. This is hard part removing the o-rings when it's on a gasket maker it's kind of stuck it's not going on there it goes. it's out put her aside and the other one is much harder I don't want to damage it I'm gonna have to drop the oil somewhere. Maybe I need a container. I need this one. Let me try figure out how to remove this. I want to do it slowly. This one's kind of hard to remove. I don't want to damage it because I don't have a repair kit yet. I need to bring the samples to the shop so I can get the exact uh, sizes. This smells bad. Okay, I think I'm all set. We're all set with the O-ring. I can go ahead and pry it out slowly. Anyway, if it gets damaged, I'm hoping I can replace this one with a new set of O-rings. Again, there's a uh, gasket maker. Not sure what the brand. Maybe Hardex. That's why it's kind of hard to remove. Let's take it slow. Oh, so slow. Feel that I'm gonna wreck this or tore this apart. There you go. She's coming out slowly. 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 And all ring out. Okay. What's next? I uh, think we need to remove this pulley. So this is reverse thread according to Southpaw. So she stands right like this one on, on the uh, engine bay. So to loosen this up, it should be clockwise, right? Since it's the reverse. Let me just figure out how to do that. I may need some screwdriver to counter it. Gosh, this is going to be hard but kind of fun. 
Time to remove the pulley and I just need to use the uh, screwdriver to counter it. I think I'm making progress but reverse thread so here we go. Oh what's that? I think I loosened this up a while ago but I just want to make sure. So far I think it's doing it or maybe it's the thread was loose. I'm not sure. Let's see how it'll happen. I'll be back. I'm gonna figure out figure this out. At this moment I cannot remove the pulley. I'm not sure why. I already used a screwdriver to counter it. But this one just keeps on turning. So maybe I need to check things out what's inside first. So let's try to remove this. Boy, 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 boy. <clears throat> oh. Am I doing it wrong? Nope, that's right. I need some leverage and it's slippery I need to take out the oil first I don't have enough leverage okay I'm back after a few minutes I had a problem with one bolt as you can see it is round up or stripped with the other three bolts there are no problems but you cannot remove the bolts on this rubber mat or on this bench you, you need well not this is not really a bench you need a what you call that a vice uh i don't know what you call that tool the huge tool where you you grip in you put in this pump i think it's called a vice bench if i'm not mistaken and all i need to do now is remove this and Let's see what we have. So, I want to focus this one. We have to weld this and then use a long adjustable wrench to remove this. To use a, um, a tool with, with air compressor, I'm not sure what you call that tool. Then, we're going to know if they installed the veins in the wrong way or the rotors well I'm gonna replace this bolts this these are just your ordinary bolts I think I may need to replace this with high tensile you know the black ones stainless is not good according to other mechanics oops there you go Ooh, okay uh, I think so far they installed this right not sure though two holes at the top facing up just have to check the things if they installed this correctly round okay so round is facing I think it's kind of correct uh, oh okay uh, I think this is the wrong part where they installed this. Uh, according to Southpaw, the one with the witness mark should be facing the right side. So when I pull this out, it was on the left. So, so I think this one should be installed the other way around. But I'm going to check them out. I'm going to have to remove them one by one. Anyway, need to find a repair kit first. Okay, I removed the cam ring and this one was installed in a correct way. Two dots facing up. But when I removed the veins, I check out Southpaw's AutoWorks video. And the veins were installed in a wrong way on my pump. Plus, the rotor, I was looking for the two dots. It was not here. It was under the 
Ta-da! So this one was installed in the wrong way. That's why it's not working. It was not pumping. So basically, I'm just going to have to follow uh, Southpaw's guide. I'm going to link his video. All credits is... It, it's all about Southpaw. I mean, I'm just trying to do this one on my own. I was just curious. Maybe if I can fix it, then good for me. If not, then last thing that I need to do is convert my power steering to a manual. But let's see what will happen. There seems to be a problem on the bolt on the pulley. I think previous mechanic stripped this one. See? Uh, I think they're trying to remove this in the wrong way like so. This is reverse thread, so I think what they're doing is the old-fashioned way and it's stripped. Even though I do it the correct way, it's still nothing. The lock is just going on circles. This one doesn't move. Uh, I want to show that to you. See? That's okay, it's not moving. So most likely... This one is stripped. Even though I grind this or remove this, I'm afraid I cannot install new bolts. But anyway, there's nothing leaking over here. So I don't really need to replace the bearings. But it's kind of wobbly a little bit. Maybe next time I need to replace the whole thing. But for now, I just need to install back the rotor in the correct way and then the veins. That's the only thing that I found that is, or that was installed in the wrong way. But it's raining right now, so I need to pause this and continue tomorrow. <laughs> oh wow. Time for me to check the, what you call this, uh, flow control valve. Previous Mac used a gasket maker, as you can see. We need to remove them. There are some markings of gasket maker over here. I already opened this up a while ago, but I just want to show it to you. So according to South Pole, we just need to use wrench over here and probably socket wrench. You can do this while on the floor or whatever you're comfortable with. <coughs> I think we have the same uh, flow control valve, two shims. One and two, right? And then there's the ball bearing. I'm planning to measure this one on using a digital caliper, just in case. Just in case if if someone uh, if they're missing this ball bearing over here then at least they'll have an idea what is the size I hope I can get the uh, right size so let's go and it's kinda hard to measure this one so most likely 3.8 not sure if you can see that on the cam 3.8 millimeter or maybe no no that's the lowest that I can go 3.8 mil for the size of this little sucker over here the ball bearing for the flow control valve on the power steering pump okay look so oh <laughs> I almost lost it <laughs> good thing Good thing I have a rubber mat, so if we have cloth or, you know, a huge towel, that'll be great, that'll be much better. So, sorry for my voice, I just woke up, it's like 11 a.m. And it's a little bit rainy, it's my son's 10th birthday. Please do say hi or happy birthday to him. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to just clean this out and then put them back all together. I already cleaned out the, I think this is the low pressure valve. Before... If you're gonna take a look at the first part of the video, there's like a huge gasket maker all around, but right now it's just looking good, it's a little bit clean. 
but I need to work on this more I hope I can install the pump later on or maybe tomorrow I don't know the weather is kind of grumpy alrighty so the gasket maker it's already removed and she's a little bit cleaner now well not really 100% super clean but the gasket maker at the sides are all gone and just have to stall back all the internals of the valve flow control valve unfortunately I don't have I don't have a uh, what you call that torque wrench with me my brother does have one but I don't want to bother him so I'm just gonna tighten up all the bolts by hand and then I install this correctly so let me just try focus them spring and then what you call this you don't want to lose this ball bearing here you can use a like south post uh, I think that's a grease uh, I'm kind of in a hurry right now so I think this one will also work just drop it in here you go okay she's in then the shims again much better if you're working on this you have a huge towel or a matting so if the ball bearing drops you don't have to look for it on oblivion it will be just sitting right there on your towel okay this is the part that I'm having a hard time I don't have a torque wrench so I'm just gonna torque this torque <laughs> just gonna tighten this up using the old-fashioned way and I hope everything won't uh, I hope everything will work properly if not then I'll go back to step one look for a torque wrench and then torque them properly tighten them up properly so I tried cleaning them and so far I, I removed a little dirt as you can see it's not really dirty so I think I'm ready to install her back and all the parts are semi clean not, not totally clean but so previously this one had like a ton of gasket maker right now she is a little bit cleaner just need to find the o-rings and then gonna follow south post guide and then install the parts slowly one by one I think I'm ready installing all back the uh, parts internal parts first thing we need to do according to south force we need to loop, loop them up by the way before we proceed I didn't bother removing the pulley because I think previous mech damaged the nut or the lock I cannot really remove this even though you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise even I use all possible tools that I have at the moment it's it's not really doing anything but I think she's in good shape okay and I'm just gonna use a brand new brush plus the power steering fluid just gonna lubricate them up just a little bit by the way I clean up all the parts I was just using uh, soapy water or your liquid det detergent soap okay just a little more here we go okay so far so good make sure you don't leave any strand of the brush inside the pump next is the dowel pin the largest one so every internals are kept on this huge plastic the low uh, what you call this 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 valve is also on plastic and the uh, flow control valve on a separate can so I don't get confused so here's the dowel pin uh, install this one first anyway there's only one port for or one hole for the dial pin so the largest one goes there you go it's like a spring keeps on kicking back maybe I should dip this on fluid first there you go 
Okie dokes. Yeah, much smoother. Next is the uh, spring, if I'm not mistaken. Spring. It's all clean, I hope. And so it's like so. Put a little fluid, like a painter. Blah, blah, blah. And then next is the... I forgot the name of this part. I also didn't bother removing the seals. They still look like brand new and I can't find any other seals with the same size. So anyway, I don't really have a problem on the internals. My only problem was on this part. The I think this is for the flow control it's kind of leaking over here just a little bit so according to his guide south post video this should be facing up and look for the guide double pin and insert it like so bada boom he didn't bother pressing this one so i ain't gonna press this one as well and then i'm gonna touch them up with a little bit of power steering fluid there you go and it's almost 5 p.m. now next is the what? rotor it's also kind of clean so when I opened this pump I was looking for the pins or the dots and nada there's not nothing on the rotor so it was installed in a wrong way like so so according to south point you should see the dots facing up so here are the two dots uh, there you go two dots and then just drop it the rotor now for the hardest thing or hardest part to install is the veins i hope i did not lose any veins According to this guide, we should do this like in a 12 o'clock position and maybe I need to review this guide first before I proceed with this one. <laughs> Give me a sec. Okay, back with the vein. So this, for me, this is one of the hardest part to install back. It's kind of confusing. I need to wear my reading glasses. <laughs> okay, according to him, uh, at the top, it should be round. I'm not sure if my camera is focusing. Round at the top and then flat on the bottom. This one clear on the left side and then on the right side should be the one with the witness mark. Am I right? I hope so. So just gonna have to install them one by one. Again, top is round this is kind of round there you go and flat square witness mark at the right and then on the left side it's kind of clear so you just drop them on the rotor one by one and it's not dropping what the hell am I doing maybe I'm do oh there you go okay huh. nice so at first try, I think it was not, uh, it was not a perfect fit, but you just keep on trying and there you go, it fits. So let me try do that again. Now the vein, the hardest part for me to take a look at is the roundness of the vein. Where's the round? I think this is the round part. And then flat over here. That's where's the witness? Here's with the witness mark really hard for me you need to keep on flipping them witness mark right side round at the top here and then no markings over here and then like so just drop them in on the rotor oh, okay nice two down eight more to go so I don't want you guys to you know <laughs> Spend all the time looking at me installing them one by one, so I'm just gonna have to skip that part and uh, let's see what will happen. Okay, I'm down to 
down to the last vein okay, again this is quite important because the reason why my pump was not pumping oh that's an awful thing to say the reason why the power steering pump was not working at all because the rotor was installed in the wrong way plus the vanes was installed in the wrong way the spring of the flow control valve was also installed in the wrong way so here we go according to South Paul's video guide 12 o'clock top should be round sorry for my nails kind of dirty round at the top witness mark here you go right side clear on the left side then bottom part over here is flat and then just grab this one install it slowly on the rotor and why the hell I'm always having a hard time installing this give me a sec there you go okay here you go all right so it took me several minutes to install all of them because you need to take it slow slowly but surely next thing I we need to install is the uh, cam ring according to the guide we need the two dots facing up and I think I need a manicure so install this one Here's our guide, the dowel pin. Uh, here you go, bingo, just drop it in. If you're gonna try install it over here, uh, I think it won't work. Oh, it will work. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I need to install first. Yep, 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 yep. I need to install first the dowel pin. Alright, much better lubricate this. Sorry, guys. I'm such a noob. This is my first time doing this. So install first the dial pin, the small one, and then two dots facing up. There you go, two dots facing up. Uh, yeah. And then just install the cam ring. The sizes of the hole are different, so you need to get the uh, exact match. And I think this is the right size. Oh, maybe not and just flip it on the other way there you go bada boom okay last part well not really the last part I need the o-wing I was not able to buy a brand new repair kit I just bought new set of o-rings and I'm hoping that they will work so here's the new one and when I started the video, I remembered I used a marker, but the marker is kind of gone. Anyway, there's a guide on the dowel pins. One is kind of thinner, one is kind of thicker. So just look for the one that will match. If you install it in the wrong way, it will not close up properly. So I think it should be like so. But. I need to install the o-ring first maybe it should be installed like this or I don't know like so yes okie dokes and before I close them up we need to put some power steering fluid as a lubrication there you go There you go, yummy! And also on the O-rings, put some on the O-rings. Chimmy, 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 chimmy. Okay. Next problem is with the bolts. I need to look for a new set of bolts. The other ones are kind of stripped. Uh, let's see if this will work. So thinner dowel, thicker dowel, dowel pin and let's see uh huh uh huh oh yeah so all that I need to do is look for the boss and you should be able to close this up finally I found a different kind of bolt but 
first here's the original and here's the replacement this one is high tensile but it doesn't have a built-in washer like the original one so black is the replacement black is a little bit shorter but this will do for the washer I should have ordered the stainless one but then again I need to make some modifications on the washer I had to drill it because it's not a perfect fit but all of them are installed but not yet tightened I don't have again I don't have a torque wrench so I think after a few months or a few years I'm gonna start seeing some rust over here so okay all I need to do now is to tighten up the bolts over here for bolts and then oh wait I still need to install back the low pressure port Am I right? I don't know. And then the flow control valve. But let me just tighten the bolts up. Now I'm about to install the flow control valve. My hand is all dirty. New set of O-rings now installed. And uh, I already placed some or put some oil inside the bore. But just to make sure, I'm going to put some power steering oil over here and then slide this in according to south pole just like so yeah, yeah I go. oops don't you go out my little o-ring and where's the spring install the spring okay you boom and then this one how uh, do you do this I want to replace the bolts but I found one it's quite new but problem is it it is a little bit shorter so I'm gonna use the old ones I also don't have a thread locker so I just borrowed my wife's nail polish and this should work I've been using nail polish as a thread locker for my bike rotor bolts and so far they're working good I'm not sure with automotive but much better just to use some just in case need to please apply a little more of it they're kind of shaking constantly so alright now the hard part is to <laughs> install this back oh wow oh this is kind of strong spring honestly I think I'm gonna have a hard time installing this while filming so I'm just gonna try pause the video and then let's see if I can install this be back in a minute alright I'm down to the low pressure port I was able to install this but I had to call out my wife and she helped me. I was pressing this plate while she's installing the bolts. Once the bolts are in place, I just have to tighten them all up. This is quite hard to install if you're just all alone. Oh, so here are the uh, oil that we used a while ago when we were trying to lubricate parts. Uh, there is the low... I also put some nail polish for as a uh, thread locker. So how do we go about this one? Oh, another thing is on my power steering pump, there's like a little hole over here. I'm not sure what this is for. With South Post video, he doesn't have this kind of hole. So I think in a way, our pump is kind of different. I also don't have a sub valve. I checked the hose and there's nothing there. It's just, it's just the hose. So tomorrow uh, we're gonna check if this one will work or not. If this one ain't gonna work, then it's gonna have to convert this thing to manual. How do we install this? Like so, like this. And go. Okay. Then. 
IT Again, I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm just tightening them all up by hand. Oh, let's go. That should be good enough. And testing. For some unknown reason, the pulley is not shaking anymore. What I did was I was just trying to tighten this bolt. It it doesn't really work anymore, but I tried to locate or find the tight the spot and I just applied some metal glue over here so it won't fall off well I will let you know guys what will happen obviously everything that I do on the EG will be on my channel so if this is a disaster then you guys will definitely have an update about it or get an update about it. well that's just all for today I don't really want to cut the video but it's getting late and I'm just gonna continue tomorrow all right I am going to install back the power steering pump. Again, I don't have a sub valve compared to Southpaw's power steering pump. On his video, it does have a sub valve. Now let's take a look at the hose. I use plastic because I don't want to drip some oil on, on the floor. There you go. I'm not sure if this is the sub valve, but I think I think this cannot be removed. So let me just try to clean this up. I'm quite sure there is some residue of oil and I'm gonna try and install back the power steering. I hope I can do it. <laughs> if I can remove it then should be able to install it back but I don't really know and it's time for me to install the pump but first I want to do the belt Oi, puto. I need to hook this up over there I think that will be much easier for me so let's see if I'm right here go where are you pulley I cannot see the pulley there I'm just gonna leave it over here for a while can I hook this up or maybe I'm wrong and then where's the, where's the pump here's the pump and where are my screws okay how do we drop this again I am a complete newbie this is my first time installing back a power steering pump Oh, where's my belt? I think I dropped my belt. Oh boy. Uh, that's okay. Let me just install this back first or maybe... Yeah. I don't have gloves so I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna use detergent to clean my hands oh wow I think I'm gonna have a hard time installing back the belt because of this hose over here oh I think there's my belt god damn Cannot reach my belt. It's loose. Okay, I was wrong, so uh, I think it's much better to install it like this way. Uh, here, we just have to use the. Uh, I think I have a degreaser, so there's still some leftover oil very minimal okay this looks this looks way much better than I just need to hook this up on the other pulley and I don't know if I can reach that try to shoot it over here I reached it 
Richard. Oh boy, this is hard. Why? It's all the way down the Okay, maybe maybe I need to remove this first. Give me a sec. Oh, there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Such a dummy. Shoot over here. I forgot. You can go ahead and put this all the way down. So you don't really need to remove the screw. See, I told you. I am a complete noob. This is my first time. So let it fall like that. And I'm going to go back to the uh, belt. And I should be able to be able to lock the belt over here and uh, uh, voila. Right. Okay. Oh boy. Look at my hands. Right now. Time to get the other screw, the lower screw, and I'm gonna use a nail polish as a thread locker. I don't have a thread locker, but this one should work. This is light strength, not really tough. It's better than nothing. Okay, this should be enough. Then I also have to do the first one. Where are we? Are we there yet? Nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is quite hard, man. Ah. This will be a one hour video. Uh, I think I got it. Nope. Nope. Where are you? Nah. Let me try adjust this one first. Wait, 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 wait. Let me loosen this up. Then, yeah, belt is still in place, but of course it's not aligned properly. Go back here, and where is this? I cannot see the hole. I think I got it. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. Where is that hole? Come on, you little sucker. Oh. Cannot find it. So my... My nail polish is disintegrating. Next thing, after installing the top bolt, we don't really want to tighten this up because it's not yet aligned. So I'm going to install the wing nut, or this is for the adjustment. I'm having a hard time installing the lower bolt, so I think I need to install this first. And then... lower lock or lower bolt need to apply nail polish as thread locker I don't have time to go out and look for a thread locker or a Loctite I hope I can install the lower bolt this one's kind of hard to install where are you
Okay, I think she's in. There you go. Alrighty. Okay, once they're in, not yet too tight on the upper and lower bolts, locking bolt, and just I just need to adjust the wing nut. Check for the belt if it is aligned. Check out the belt over there. Okay. She's in, right? And need to check the tension. Of course, it's kind of loose. Then do the wing nut go clockwise. She dokes. Sit tight, almost tight. We don't want super tight. Once you get or once you got the right tension, where is the wait? All we need to do is secure the bolts. Yep. Secure them, secure them. It will take some time to secure all the bolts. Just need to make sure they are tight, both of them. I I don't have a uh, torque wrench. They're not yet super tight. I'm gonna tighten them up later on. I just need to check the tension of the belt, and then in finally we're gonna install this back. I think this is for the high pressure and then the low pressure hose. Be right back. I just need to finalize the belt need to check the tension first okay all the bolts are locked up and wing nut adjuster this is the first thing you need to make sure that it's on the right tension or you set the belt on the right tension good alignment and then once it's all settled you can tighten up or, or, or lock the bolts lower and then the upper I hope this one will run work, uh, run great or I don't know. This is my first time installing her back so this time we are trying to install the low pressure hose. Oh that's kind of easy and then just slide this lock. What do you call this kind of lock? I don't know. Okay I think that's good. Maybe I'm just gonna need to push her more all the way down. Okay. Alright. Finally, the. High pressure hose. Again, this one doesn't. My version, as you can see, it doesn't have a sub valve. I'm not sure why. And just need to apply nail polish again as a thread locker. Not sure why I don't have the sub valve, but it was like that when I opened it. Okay. I don't want to lose the bolt, so go. I use the plastic because I don't want to drip oil on the floor. Wait, let me twist this one. As you can see, try to shoot. As you can see, it doesn't have a sub valve. This is how she looks like. I didn't bother removing this one. I think it cannot be removed. Okay. So I'm gonna install her back. And I think all I need to do is tighten up the bolts. Oh, uh, one more thing. I need to I need to install back the ground. This is for the negative. Okay. 
si Dogs. tight and then two bolts over here they're quite tight again I don't have a torque wrench maybe I need to replace the bolts they're almost brown what do you think now time to fill up the pump or the tank it's bone dry nothing in there oops <laughs> let me get my new from I think this one is from Shell Shell Spyrox I don't want to spill some oil on the floor, so... Here we go. And then let me just check out the tank. Maybe it's already full. Not yet. Okay. Are we there yet? Little more. Okay. I think that's good enough. You can check the tank. Okay, dogs. I think that is quite good enough. Does it have a level? Okay, try to shoot over here. We are at maximum. Maybe I want to. Maybe I, I put in a lot of fluid. It's at max, so I think I need to drain just a few mLs. Be right back and then we're gonna check if this one is now working. Okay, I think the power steering pump is now working. As you can see, it sucked some fluid, so I need to add more. I'm gonna turn off the car. I tested the steering wheel and it's kind of soft. So be right back. Finally, I'm done. Look at my hands. They're all dirty. So after, this is my third day working on it. I worked like five to six hours a day. I encountered a lot of issues. I stripped some bolts and I had a hard time draining the fluid. So look, look at the level right now. After starting the car for a few minutes, turning the steering wheel left and right, it's much easier, smoother now. And the level, oil level, power steering fluid level is in good shape. And uh, I think there are no leaks, so I'm happy with, with Southpaw's video. His video really helped me on this one and all credits go to Southpaw. Please do support his channel. The link will be on the video description. This is So this is like a one hour video. I, I'm not sure guys. Well, that's just me, Joms F. I'm a super noob. I really don't know how to install them but with Southpaw's video, there we go. It's working once again.